Hi, hello, welcome once again to the online course of business planning. We are working on uh, teaching or on learning how to prepare a good business plan. And uh, I am presenting you the second video in activity one. Activity one in this course, I remind you, consists in pitching a business concept or in practicing how to pitch a business concept. Another reminder, pitching a business concept means presenting it shortly in like an attractive, informed, concise form. And in this video, I am doing demonstration. For each of the activities, I give you one video with the description of the task that you are supposed to, to practice. And another video when I show you how I practice, how I do it, just to uh, to follow that proverb we have in Poland that uh, example is better than lecture. So I go into that PowerPoint presentation. First of all, the idea. My idea, which by the way I will be returning with in many activities of this course, is to start a factory of small electric turbines, wind and hydro. Uh, the idea is to, uh, to produce those like relatively small installations which can be put anywhere, which don't have as much environmental requirements as, uh, uh, as the big ones. And here comes my first association of ideas. You can see in the picture, let me get a little bit smaller. Here is my idea displayed like on the screen. So starting a factory of small electric turbines, wind and hydro, and my first association, which I made like intuitively. Uh, in order to pitch a technology, I'd better have pictures. As soon as I started to sketch quickly those notes for this specific, uh, for the, for this specific demo of activity, it was like reflexive, intuitive in me. Look for something visual to show. And here you have two images. Uh, above or in the top of the picture, you have a small hydroelectric turbine. Uh, by the way, it is not exactly very small. There is much smaller in the market right now. And below you have a small wind turbine. Small wind turbines usually have a vertical axis. So that's my style, going into the visual. Then I do another thing, which I do very intuitively, very instinctively. Uh, I do very quickly market research for my idea. So when I prepare to pitch anything, I intuitively look for some information online. This slide, I gave it a title, Why should anyone bother? So I try to find like quick facts to slam on the table. And it is a general suggestion. When you prepare a pitch, uh, you can use that concept. Once I read it in a textbook of management, it is the concept of naked facts. It is, the, it is the idea that if you have to present something, if you have to present, uh, to pitch a concept to other people, just uh, try to find facts which speak almost by themselves. I know that right now we could go into a whole philosophy of science, which I love, by the way, uh, as uh, what is a naked fact, Anyone, uh, anyway, should, you should try intuitively to find something like a fact, empirical fact that speaks by itself. Here I googled up the market of small wind turbines and I googled up the market of small hydroelectric turbines. And each time under the uh, under that uh, general like bullet point, you have smaller bullet points with uh, internet addresses, which were like my first three hits yielded by Google uh, in each of those searches. And here, 
you can see that the first link on this list has been clicked. I clicked it. Huh? So murder intelligence. So I quickly go into the scene uh, in that presentation where I went to that internet address. I will magnify it and uh, show you what I can have like from it. Huh? Market overview. Do you see it well in the screen? Yes, you can see it. Market overview. The small wind turbine market is expected to register a CAGR of around 1% during the forecast period of 2020 to 2025. Factors such as rising environmental concerns and high cost of grid expansion are expected to be major drivers driving the market. Also, advancement in technology leading to wind turbine manufacturing cost reduction and increase in efficiency have been a major factor for the growth of small wind turbine market. However, the increasing adoption of alternate energy resources such as gas-based power and solar power are likely to hinder the market growth. Okay, here. The first uh, few things, uh, how I can work it uh, with that source in order to improve my pitch. First of all, uh, the concept of CAGR. You have it here on the screen, CAGR. I return to my PowerPoint presentation to a page with notes and uh, I will just write a quick explanation. CAGR stands for compound annual growth rate. Just let me check if you can see it in the screen. Yes, compound annual growth rate. Now, CAGR is usually used in market research when the market grows uh, by, like, uh, by swings and bumps, where that, where that annual uh, growth rate of the market is very uneven. Uh, and in such cases, analysts use the CAGR, Compound Annual Growth Rate. So my first quick observation is, here is that if analysts use CAGR in studying the report uh, the market, I'm sorry, the market of small wind turbines. It means the market grows by swings and bumps. That's Im Im important. Then, uh, next thing, I go back to my scene with Safari. And in the screen, you can see it, it is around 1% during the forecast period of 2020, 20, uh, 2025. I go back to my notepad with uh, PowerPoint and I can write that, as far as I know, CAGR of 1% is pretty low. The market is not really growing fast. Mind you, this uh, forecast looks as it had been done uh, before the pandemic. So before the lockdowns, before that whole COVID story. So then the forecasts of overall economic growth were pretty good, like at least 2.5% a year. So a 1% growth in a market is pretty low. Huh? It is slow growth. Developing a business in this market means pushing other people aside and be aggressive marketing wise. Okay, let's go back to the 
to that short text. I go to the next paragraph. Vertical axis wind turbine is the fastest growing type of the small wind market, owing to the rising popularity of the same in the residential sector, especially in emerging, mar in emerging markets such as China, Brazil and India. I have two pieces of information essentially here in, in this passage. First of all, it is the dominant technology, the vertical axis. The vertical axis is essentially a turbine which turns around a vertical axis. Uh, those, big, uh, those big windmills that you can see like out there far in the landscape, they are horizontal axis turbines because the, uh, because the helix, the turbine, turns horizontally or, or turns, uh, excuse me, vertically around the horizontal axis. Here in the market of small wind turbines, we are talking about the opposite configuration. The axis of rotation is vertical and the turbine turns horizontally. And here is that piece of information that vertical axis wind turbine is the fastest growing type in the small wind market. Okay, I go to my notepad and I write down that it is worth focusing on vertical wind turbines. And the second information, which I have drawn like from that short passage, that the market seems to be growing really fast in emerging countries with quick urban expansion. Uh, why do I write about that urban expansion? This is an explanation, like a creative interpretation of what is written here. Uh, the use of small wind turbines in the residential areas in emerging markets is, is growing so quickly because uh, in those places, the population in cities grows essentially faster than the local infrastructure. There is constantly need to give like extra juice, extra electricity to, to those very quickly growing residential places. Personally, I went to China, I could see how quickly their residential complexes grow. They literally pop up out from the ground. It is amazing. And uh, the power infrastructure just cannot always keep up when the need for those small wind turbines to supply the extra juice. Okay, so once again, let's see my notes. If analysts use CAGR in studying the market of small wind turbines, it means the market grows by swings and bumps. It is a pretty low CAGR, the market grows on average quite slowly, it is worth uh, uh, focusing on vertical wind turbines and the market seems to be growing really fast in emerging countries with quick urban expansion. Oh, excuse me. So now I am repitching my idea. So I take those observations and I use it to very quickly remodel my initial pitch. So. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea of starting a manufacturing business which would make small wind turbines and small hydroelectric turbines. Please let me highlight a few points as for the industry and the market of small wind turbines. For the moment, we have a window of opportunity in the market, a window of opportunity which is uh, in making vertical axis based small wind turbines for emerging markets like China, Brazil and India. This is my business concept. Thank you. Okay, so you could have seen how you can quickly work on your business pitch, how you can take an initial idea, take some pictures, then do some uh, market research online and then remodel your pitch. That's the essential concept of your practice. So have fun with it. 
have fun with science and have, and have fun with life. Bye.